YouTube. In this video we're going to go over a leash technique that you can use with shy, reactive, and overexcited dogs. It's called giving into leash pressure. At first, when you put pressure on a leash, dogs can get either overexcited, over aroused, or even scared by the pressure you put on your dog's leash. But in, in dangerous situations or in emergencies, or if your dog's getting overexcited, you need to move your dog when your dog's not listening to you. So, I'm going to teach you how to teach your dog the default behavior of when you put pressure on leash, it means move with me instead of move away from me. Naturally, dogs tend to move in the opposite direction when you put pressure on the leash. And that can be very frustrating if you're trying to get away from something your dog's scared of, or if your dog's overexcited about something. This is Gremlin. She's my friend's new rescue dog from Spain. She's about seven months old, and she's very scared and reactive in the city. So we're gonna practice in this calm environment where she feels comfortable, how to give in to leash pressure, so that when she's got the behavior down, she can start using it in the city where she's frightened. Okay, Gremlin, are you ready? Hi. I have a video called Handling Shyness. If your dog is very scared of being handled and touched, you want to do the exercises in that video first before you start doing this exercise because if your dog is very scared or if you start the exercise and find that your dog is getting very scared of what you're doing you need to go back a step and condition your dog to being handled and being touched in the area that the harness is rest resting. This shouldn't be the first training game that you play with your dog. You should play some attention games and loose leash walking games to reinforce your dog for being with you and moving with you on leash beforehand. I recommend using a harness for this exercise because if you're putting pressure on your dog's neck it can actually damage your dog's neck. Dog's necks are very similar in their construction as human necks and pulling on a dog's neck isn't a great way to make a good impression and it's not a great way to manage your dog on a walk. So that's why we're always using the harness attached to a leash for a walk. Okay Gremlin, let's give it a try. So first I'm going to just warm Gremlin up by moving and clicking Gremlin for moving with me. Build our relationship a little bit. step, I'm going to put just gentle pressure on the leash and click and feed. Another option is simply pulling on the harness and feeding. You want the pressure on the harness to predict a treat. If you find that your dog is comfortable and not freaking out or backing away, you can move on to the next step. I'm going to put gentle, even pressure on the harness. I'm not jerking the dog. I'm putting the harness, I'm putting the leash against my stomach and taking a step forwards. And I'm going to click when Gremlin takes a step in my direction, giving into the pressure. Good job. Immediately after I click, I'm going to release the pressure and give a treat. Good job. Let's see if you have, if I have a treat that's a little bit of higher value because Gremlin's not seeming that interested in those other treats. You like that? Okay. Great. Awesome job. There's also loud gunshot, <laughs> so I'm feeding Gremlin for hearing the gunshot and not panicking. Good job. If your dog doesn't come with the leash pressure, is getting scared, you can do another trick where you're just putting pressure on the leash and luring the dog forwards. You don't want this to be a scary, intimidating game. Good job. You can also encourage your dog with your voice or a kissy noise. Good job. Oh my goodness, you got that whole piece. Oh boy. Ready? 
awesome. Gremlin seemed a little nervous during the training session and didn't seem to find the treats very reinforcing, so we took a break and cooked some chicken. You want to use the highest value of reinforcement possible and have your dog as relaxed as possible when starting this exercise. You can tell that Gremlin is feeling a little bit better because you can see that the muscles in her body are more relaxed and she's holding her tail much higher than she was before. Proofing with distractions. Once your dog is happily moving into leash pressure, you can start to proof the behavior with distractions. You want to use distractions that your dog likes. So for example, toys, treats, or people that your dog likes, holding treats, or just people that your dog wants to greet. We're going to use a toy that Gremlin really likes. Oh boy, good job. If it's too hard for your dog, and they just continue to pull forwards, you can try getting your dog to move with you from further away from the distraction. Good job. And your dog will be more successful. Awesome. If you've moved further away from the distraction and your dog still won't give in to leash pressure, try a low value distraction. So something your dog is less interested in so that you can set your dog up for success. It also helps if you have a helper to place the distraction away from your dog. Awesome. The end result is that your dog should stop pulling on leash towards the distraction. So don't worry if that's happening. That's something that you want to occur. We're also gonna try a distraction of food. So I'm gonna put the food over here and have Gremlin move away. And Gremlin is so smart, she's figured out the game already. Good girl. At first you're gonna click the millisecond the dog turns to come with you. And then when your dog is succeeding, you can click your dog after they've taken a couple steps in your direction after turning. It's your choice whether you wanna release your dog to get the treat or whether you don't want to release your dog. But I would say don't always release your dog or otherwise they could think that you're going to release them and then run towards whatever you're pulling them away from. Okay, go get it. For shy and fearful dogs. When out on a walk and your dog suddenly starts getting very frightened and won't give in to leash pressure and just puts on the brakes after you've worked on it, it could be a sign that your dog is very fearful and it might be a good idea to just go home or if you have a dog that's small enough, just pick your dog up until your dog's calmed down enough to be able to walk again. It can be very frightening if your dog hasn't had the proper socialization as a puppy and you can't really work through it if your dog is not taking treats and overly fearful. Giving in to leash pressure should be used for emergencies when your dog won't listen to you and you need to move your dog. If you simply want your dog to move with you, you can teach a verbal cue like let's go to mean move with me. Stay tuned for the next video which is going to be going over how to teach your dog the cue let's go.